Welcome Vexit crew, we are back at Cars and Coffee. Today we're gonna to be doing some dope interviews and checking out some dope cars, so stay tuned. Camaro. It's an RS and an SS. RS has got the hideaway headlights and style and trim and SS is the performance options. This is the first year of production. It's a 396, 325 horsepower so it is a factory big block four-speed car. The reason I got this car, I got it the fall of 1977 as a 10-year-old car. Paid $800 for this car in 1977 to go street racing. That's my car story, and my name is Gary. Hi, I'm Andre from the Radford Racing School. I'm one of the sales and marketing executives. Uh, what we do at the Radford Racing School is teach everyone maximum car control. What goes into that, and how do we utilize that? So we, util uh, we approach it as a crawl, walk, run method. We learn about the car control, and then we strengthen our race craft on the actual track. Uh, we have road racing, Formula 4, drag racing, Trans Am TA2, you name it, we have it. Uh, some of the best instructors in the world to learn from. Uh, truly a, uh, a, a bucket list item. So my name is uh, Dan Wartman. And uh, my car is a 1962 uh, Corvette Resto Mod. Um, it is uh, actually an all carbon fiber uh, a replica of a 62 on top of a 2011 Corvette chassis. Um, I always wanted to uh, have a 1962 Corvette, but I did not want to work on it all week so I could drive it on Saturday. So I went this direction and the car runs like a 2011, just looks like a 62. Here with Mo at Cars and Coffee. Today he's gonna to tell us a little bit about what brought Magna out here and what exactly is going on today. Super excited to be out here, JC. What an amazing opportunity for Magna. Shout out to Brian, Highline Autos, and the city of Scottsdale for welcoming us to this amazing, amazing event. Cool cars, amazing people, cool beats, you gotta check this thing out. Cars and coffee, guys. What's up, I'm Brandon. This is my 1968 right-hand drive Volkswagen Beetle. Um, really, I was like a big Porsche kid when I was younger, and obviously you can't really find a Porsche for like next to five grand. And next best thing right here. But it means a lot to me. It's been a huge part of my life. I, uh, you know, they say you take care of your car and it'll take care of you, and it's nothing but true. and he's gonna tell us a little bit about MotorVault.com. So what, what's going on exactly? Uh, we're a luxury car uh, garage. Uh, it's called like a country club. We have a clubhouse and you buy your own garages. And then we have all kinds of events and things. We go and rent racetracks together and, and everybody can fit out their garages as their own man cave, store oh, their race nice. cars motorhomes, boats, all their toys. That's absolutely and, uh, amazing. Yeah, you got your man cave to go ha ha hang out, and, uh, <laughs> get an extra car. You don't have to tell mom, you just put it in your uh, man cave. All right, you hear that, fellas. So if you got a second car that you don't want the wife to know about, you need to holler at my man Vernon. He can get you into the motor wall. <laughs> We are here with Brian, the man that puts on this amazing event. He's just gonna tell us a little bit about how it all started and how it's going now. So we started this Cars and Coffee about a year and a half, half ago when the pandemic kind of lightened up and people were able to do events again. Right. 
So we get about 400 supercars, luxury cars, exotic cars, classic cars out here, and we nice. figure, you know, anywhere between five and 10,000 people a show. First Saturday of each month. We're happy amazing, to have you guys amazing. out here. Oh, it's a beautiful thing. I'm so glad that we are able to be a part of this amazing event, and I want to thank Brian for putting this amazing event on, and thank everybody who came out to Cars and Coffee today, and you guys have a good one. Peace. All right.